Yes, yes, what's good people? Welcome back to another episode of The Block Report hosted by your boy, your man, your king, Flashy Silla. Now, as usual, we've been doing this for a long time. I'm gonna give you my hot topics of the week, my hot take of the week, and my hot picks of the week. And we're gonna make our way to that bench right there, man. We're gonna make our way to that bench right there. We're gonna have a little chit chat. I'm gonna talk to you guys through my hot picks as well. I've got four underground plugs as well. Make sure you lot are keeping touch, you know. You're, you're making sure you lot are listening to these underground plugs because I plug a lot of talented artists. So let's go. We'll have a chit chat. Bow. So kicking off my first hot topic of this week, Assemble Agency have launched Succession Freestyle, the first UK female freestyle platform. Listen, it's a big thing for the scene, man. And once this has launched, we're gonna see a, a, a domino effect on a lot of female freestyle platforms, you know what I'm trying to say? So this is hosted by DJ SE, and each episode has two parts. So the first part will consist of a legacy act. So the legacy act can be someone that's building a legacy or, or already created their legacy in the UK scene. And the second part being a successor to the Legacy Act. So this can be an upcoming rapper in the local area. This is someone that the Legacy Act has nominated to be their successor. And this concept is very specific. Like the reason why is because most popular UK channels have freestyle platforms which caters to different calibers of artists. You know what I'm trying to say? For example, you have Mixtape Madness with their Mad About Bars in which they bring in a lot of high caliber artists and they have the next up which brings in a lot of upcoming artists however with succession freestyle they merge the two so it doesn't matter what what at what level in your career you're at you're going to be on succession freestyle do you know what i'm trying to say so this can be a very low level artist which just started up their career this, they could have one track out two tracks out and then they're on the same freestyle platform as another as another woman that has what three four projects you know what i'm trying to say in their discography so big up Assemble Agency for this, man. This is a very unique concept, man. Big up all of the ladies involved as well for Succession Freestyle. So kicking off my second hot topic of this week. Listen, like, this is very female orientated, man. This Block Report episode. But big up the girl, Julie Adenuga, man. She's the new co-host for Catfish UK. Now, do you know what, yeah? Before I even get into that a bit more, big up the Adenuga family, man. Because that family, yeah, they just got, like, they got greatness in their family. Of course, Skepta being her brother, Jamie being her, 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 her older brother as well. I'm not sure who's actually the oldest, actually. You know what? Fact check me on that. But the Adenuga family always doing bits. And of course, Julie, she's been on Beats 1. She's done many stuff for the culture, many, many things for the culture. And you know what? Now that she's the new co-host for Catfish UK, it makes sense. I want to see Julie do this. You know what I'm trying to say? I want to see Julie do her thing for this. And you know what? Yeah, you lot... All of your catfishes, all of these catfishes account, the UK is too small, isn't it? So a lot of people are going to get banged. Enough people are going to get banged, isn't it? So I can't wait to see this, man. I can't wait. Listen, all of them catfishes that catfished me back in the day, man, I hope to see you guys on this show because I've been through some fuckery. I've been through some mad things in the past, but you know what? Big up Julie Adenuga. She's the new co-host for Catfish UK. Can't wait to see it. And we'll move on from there. Bow. So I can't lie, man, I'll be thinking, obviously we've seen the female rap scene grow, the female rap scene, whether it's UK or US, but I want to I wanna ask people whether like, are female rappers undervalued and does selling your sex play a vital part to your brand? Because I hear a lot of people like whinging and whining about female rappers having to like sell their sex and that they have to show off their bodies. Yeah, I'm trying to say they have to what? They have to twerk and do certain things for the camera, but don't you feel like this is the same kind of thing how these music labels, they, they give all of these male rappers advances and then them lot have to go and get big chains. Yeah, I'm trying to say all the dripping. I feel like they, ex they, they're exploiting all of us same way. Yeah, I'm trying to say, I feel like they exploit all of us in a certain way which don't need to be exploited like that. And I feel like the talent doesn't really play much of a part when it comes to female rappers nowadays. Like, don't get me wrong, Megan Thee Stallion, she can spit. I feel like Megan can spit. You've got people like Rhapsody, Miss Banks, what? 
um, Steph London. All of these girls are mad talented, but same way, same way they do sell their sex, which isn't necessary, but it needs to be done to get that bag. But like I said, man, all, all, all kind of all rappers go through it, all kind of artists go through it, whether it's selling your sex, whether it's putting on extra chains and drip just to sell a certain image. I feel like selling your image is part of your brand. And if you don't do that to, to if you don't do that for your brand, you're not gonna make no money. That's just how it is. You know I'm trying to say it. But female rappers, I think nowadays they are undervalued because I feel like there's some there's some girls that can bar better than men, but they just don't get that look in. And because they're females, that's why they don't get that looking. Because a lot of these labels, a lot of people are just looking at these girls like, all right, cool, you can spit, but what else? But I feel like same way, there's a lot of men that can spit a hundred bars, but they're boring. <laughs> I'm trying to say they're boring characters. So it, it, there's, there's arguments to it, but I want to know what people think, man. Let me know what you think. All right, so kicking off my hot picks of this week, starting at number 10 and my first underground plug goes to roll me five with bling bling let's take a look at that one don't say you're right for me if you know you won't don't tell me that you love me if you know you don't can't waste no more time i'm running out of minutes if i say it in my lyrics then i really did it so that was roll me five with bling bling now you see with my man like He's an easy listen, especially if you want to still listen to bars at a good level, yeah, I'm trying to say. And also, like, the song, like, the more you hear it, it's proper progressive, yeah, I'm trying to say, like, it's a well thought out song. And one thing I noticed as well is that I'm not sure if he used the same sample as j Hoss Helicopter, but it's very similar, yeah, I'm trying to say, like, the, the bass in that, in that song is very similar to j Hoss Helicopter. If you want, go and compare the two and then come back to me and then you get me, let me know what you think. So that was Roll Me 5 with Bling Bling. Let's take a look at number nine on this week's Hot Picks. Yeah. Number nine of this week's Hot Picks and my second underground plug goes to Nyx with Vision 2021. Let's take a look at this boy right there. Uh. Heavy as my mental with these demons trying to manage The head in every king until my feet's up in the palace Gatekeepers only watching cloud, there ain't no balance Still trying to bust it like a viral TikTok challenge So that was Nyx with Vision 2021 Now you see this song, what you, heard, what you just heard of course It's a hybrid of like rap and grime music, you know what I'm trying to say The dark moody vibe gives it like a spooky feel, do you know what I'm trying to say I like, I like the way the, the, the song feels And he rides the beat mad smooth Like I feel like when you're spitting there's only certain pockets you can find in a beat. And with that beat as well, like when you strip down the lyrics and the vocals, like it's a hard beat to find the pockets in. So that was Nyx with Vision 2021 Freestyle. Let's take a look at number eight on this week's Hot Picks. So number eight and my third underground plug of this week goes to SB two times um, with Cloud. Like them, Let's take so a look I'm at the girl right there. there. El Jefe love me man, I've been in their meetings, drinks in the evening. Phone jumping when I be sleeping. I will fake you drive for a two minute briefing. So that was SB two times with Cloud. Now SB, she's recently fresh home out of the can, so you know that wherever she's spitting, it's no rap cap, you know what I'm trying to say? And of course, like, she's got very clear clarity when she spits, like, that's something that I always respect. If you watch my hot picks every week, you know that I like rappers that got clarity when they spit and they have a clear cadence. And also, like, she got a good beat selection. And I feel like with this beat selection for this song specifically, it complements her voice and her style of rap. So, big up SV two times, man. That was Clout. Keep tabs on her because she's one to watch in the scene for sure. So, SV two times with Clout was my eighth hot pick of this week and my third underground plug. Listen, let's take a look at number seven, which is our fourth underground plug of this week. Bow. So for my seventh hot pick of this week and my fourth underground plug, we're gonna take a look at T from T with his late night freestyle. Let's take a look at that one. Got a two in the queue, back up a Z, do the rest later. Sure this can do fly round town do it ones and twos. At the end of the day, bake off in the A3, doing up tape. So with T from T man, like if you've checked out his previous releases with used to with 28 grams like he's got a good beat selection that complements his style like he really knows how to pick a beat in which like where he can spit he can get the most out of that beat do you know what i'm trying to say i feel like with rappers when they pick beats always know that you can what's the most you can get from that instrumental do you know what i'm trying to say and of course in this song specifically like there's mad quotables like i feel like that's the style that he rides off on he's got quotable lines in this song and the energy in this video is is cold like, i like the energy in the vid all the random in the vid like like they 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 they, they make the, the, the song more turn you know what i'm trying to say 
So that was T from T with Late Night Freestyle. That was my seventh hot pick of this week. Listen, we're entering the top six. So that only means we're gonna enter some real, real bangers. Let's take a look at number six. So coming in at number six, we're seeing SD Money with same bros. Let's take a look at it. He said rapping ain't worth it, I know, but I have to blow, I can't say I came close. Plus she in love with this life that I chose. If you link at the shard, they ain't making it home. Lil's told me that he heard it clap. Yeah, it ain't me dark, it's about being blown. So that was SD Money with Same Bros. Now, you see with SD Money, I've been keeping tabs on the kid. He's been on my previous hot picks with his song Make Sense, and that's accumulated mad views and mad numbers on streaming platforms. Take a look at that one as well. But also, he, he follows a similar format as he did with that previous release that he had. And it works, you know what I'm trying to say? It works out. So that was SD Money with Same Bros, man. I like the kid, man. I think he's got a unique flow. Let's take a look at my fifth hot pick of this week. What, what we got in store, man? What we got in so coming in at number five of my hot picks of this week we're seeing nino uptown with money mayweather let's take a look at that one right there so with this song right here, I feel like the production gives you like late night drive vibes, you know what I'm trying to say? As soon as the song starts, you can just, you get into a, a kind of relaxed mood where you're just cutting through the city on a late night thing. And one thing I want to point out about Nino Uptown is that a lot of auto-tune rappers, it's like specifically with his kind of style of auto-tune, they're not clear in their clarity, like you don't get what they're trying to say. Like it's mainly it's mad screechy and that, but with this song that I like about it, you can hear every word he's saying and you can hear the melodies on top of that. And that's a hard, like, that's a hard combination to get. So that was Nino Uptown with Money Mayweather. Listen, number four of this week's Hot Picks. Let's take a look at that one right here. So coming in at number four, we're seeing odd ads with full throttle. You ain't lived this life, you don't know this pain, so you won't understand me. When Josie died, I washed that pain with bottles of brandy. Full throttle for Aki, I jump in the back, full throttle the Saki. They squabble and wassy, 10 do 5 what I got in the passy. So with Odd Ads full throttle, this is something we haven't really heard from him before in a long time. Gee, I'm trying to say Odd Ads on drill. Last time I heard, last time me personally I heard him on drill was when he did that. You know the goo 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 gaga ga, you know the ones there. But that was a banger in itself. But this one right here, I like hearing rappers from the old school doing the new school drill thing. And he done it well, Gee, I'm trying to say drill isn't a hard genre to spit on, and he executed it well same way. So big up Odd Ads, man. Check out his latest project as well. We're gonna move into my third hot pick of this week. Bow. So for my third hot pick of this week, we're gonna take a look at the boy Billy Billion with Tizzy. Let's take a look at this. I made your brethren shit out his Tizzy. It was me in the back of the rice with Luger nines all out of the glizzy. It was me pillion on a ped big whap on deck trying to stay on like Jimmy. All I need is spare pair of eyes when I step other side two hands on a fizzy. Listen, you can't even call the boy Billy Billions, call him Billy Versatility fam, because the boy, listen, Billy, I feel like he can do everything when it comes to rap, drill, melodies, he executes it, he act like, all of those, all of those factors right there, he executes it to a good standard, as in nothing's below average, like you can hear him sing, you can hear him rap, you can hear him dump on drill, and that's something that people like about Billy, do you know what I'm trying to say? And in this song right here, that's where you actually hear a lot of his versatility. So, big up Billy Billions with Tizzy. Listen, second hot pick of this week. We're landing in at number two. What have we got in store, man? So, landing in at number two, we're seeing the boy Central C with six for six. He's back with another banger. Now, you see Central C, man, he's been on a, a that cold run for like the past year. I'll say since day in the life. And I feel like with Central C and Digger, they're the star boys of our country, do you know what I'm trying to say? Of course Central, he just released his latest project, Wild West. And I did take a look at it, it's a cold project. It is a cold project. I feel like it's very cohesive. It's not very conceptual in itself, but it's got bangers on there and it's got something that you can just slap on in between journeys or, you know what I'm trying to say? It's one of them projects right there. So big up Central C, man, that was six for six. The production in this song was outstanding. So. Let's take a look at number one. Listen, it's something that you lot won't even expect, but listen, landing in at number one, let's take a look at that right there. So this is number one 
for this week's hot picks. Landing at number one, we're seeing Western with Mama Stay. So with the boys Western, like, we know that they're seasonal artists and when it comes to the summertime, they just tell everyone, listen, move out the way, man. This is our time right here, do you know what I'm trying to say? We like to hear Western in the sun, like, they make music for the sun. And this is just another example of just good vibes music, like, Hayley, he's just, he, I think he's the hook master of the UK, like, we don't get any better than him when it comes to hooks. And of course, Akel and Louis Ray, they just complement it, they complement, they all complement each other's styles brilliantly, do you know what I'm trying to say? So, catch me weekly on Mixtape Madness every single Monday where you're going to find my hot topics of the week, my hot picks of the week, and my hot take of the week. Listen, big up all the man them. May, make sure you guys go listen to Fly Straight Season, a mixtape, uh, straight out of my camp. So anything I'm involved in will always be great. So let's go, man. Leave me alone. I'm going home. <laughs>